You know, out here on the streets, guys, it's all about survival. Here, cause... Whoa! Oh! Look at that! Whoa! You know, it's not about doing knee slides, wheelies, and, you know, speed. It's all about trying to stay alive and be able to ride another day out here, guys. And I tell you, braking is extremely important that you do it right. There's a lot of people out here don't know how to brake properly out here, man. Um, in this video, guys, I'm going to teach you how to brake effectively and defensively to help keep you safe out here and keep you from having a real effed up day. Let's go for a ride. Subscribe today. Got the 2020 Yamaha MT-09 out here, boy. Bike looking proper. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I tell you, boy. Yeah. You know what, guys? I tell you, I absolutely love this helmet with this auto tint shield and super lightweight and my motor vlog camera airbag vest to help keep you safe uh, glove jacket all my gear I always include links in the description and comment section of my videos but i tell you it really does help to have that auto tint shield man it's awesome because it's getting dark right now um you know and it lightens up perfectly perfect so you don't have to switch like to a tinted to a clear it does it automatically for you i love that man but i tell you I, what I love about this bike, you, you just do a little rip on it, man. You get all kinds of grunt. Like that, boy. But it's, when it comes to braking, man, you know, what you, you noobs out there, you know, a lot of you guys just get in the habit of just using only the front brake. You know, because a lot of these new bikes have AB, combined ABS where you hit the front brake and it activates part of the rear brake. So, you don't really, you could just use the front brake. You don't have to do both brakes. But I tell you guys, use both brakes anyhow. Front and rear at the same time. Because you may get on a, a friend's bike or somebody else's bike or whatever that doesn't have ABS brakes. And if you get out here and somebody pulls out in front of you or something, you grab all front brake, panic brake, which you should never do out here. You'll end up going over the handlebars or something and crash unnecessarily. See, what I'm going to show you today is, is tips that's going to help keep you, prevent you from crashing. And Number one is to never panic break out here. Never panic, guys. You always want to try to stay calm, have a sense of calm on your bike. No matter what, man, because when you panic is when you do something stupid that can set you up for a real effed up day. Staying sharp, looking at these cars, man, looking at the movements of these cars. You see, if they inching forward... Oh man, these old, I hate being in the hood because these roads are so beat up. But you really have to pay attention to these cars. And when you see a car inching forward, be ready to brake, man. Have your finger on that brake. See that? Have your finger ready to roll, man. Whoa. Look at my right fingers. I go for the brakes just as he's moving forward. And I'm using both front and rear brake, by the way. And I didn't panic brake. And that allowed me to stop in time to avoid a real effed up day. Again, like I said, treat each and every car as though they're out to get you and be ready to react. And that's going to help save you out here. That guy went through a red light, fool. And they got cameras here. They got two red lights. That guy's a moron, man. <laughs> they have cameras out here. He'll probably end up getting a ticket in the mail, dummy. Like I said, you know, I always anticipate that every single car that's getting ready to turn is going to pull out on me. You know, getting ready to make a left turn on me. I feel, I, I see it every single time as though they're going to do that and I'm ready. I'm ready to stop. I'm looking at them. I'm waiting. I'm looking at them inching. I'm looking at their eyes. I'm looking at the movement of the car. I got my finger on the brake. That's how I saved myself on my supermoto when that car pulled out on me because I was looking at them. I, even though I'm talking, a lot of you guys think I'm, uh, you know, I'm distracted by motor vlogging, but I tell you, I'm, I've been motor vlogging for nine years trust me man i stay sharp with every single car i could talk but i'm still looking at these cars every one of them as though they're going to get me and uh 
and you all just you always want to stay at pay attention to cars all around you see that car right there see how he's moving slightly look at that look at him look at it to the right look at that look see I hit that horn way ahead of time man I just don't feel comfortable with that when I see him moving like that and we got poles here too to maybe block in the view because you know they can't always see us because we're, we're thinner here our bikes are thin you know and oftentimes have one headlight so um, that's yeah use that horn and don't be scared to use a throttle you know what I'm saying get that attention everybody does appreciate that but I don't care what these car drivers appreciate I'm trying to stay safe out here on the streets you know what I'm saying man well, these cars are trying to come at us all the time especially in the winter time because they're not expecting us motorcycles to be out here we got some bikers look at that we got some bikers here it's cool hey a little Gromsky <laughs> we got I want to go catch up with them man tired of waiting man <laughs> I want to go see that little Gromsky dude. <laughs> but anyways, guys. Yeah, you know, I'll be honest with you guys. And also, you know, if you're coming approaching a blind corner where the, the side is all blocked off. And you can't really see to the right. And all you, you're, you're going to be focused straight ahead. and But yet the, the road turns. You need to notice that ahead of time, man. Because uh, you want to break you're not trying to fly around these corners guys you want to break before you hit that corner uh, because a lot of times you'll get target fixation man and you it happened to me one time and uh see that car right there guys see see especially when the when it's getting dark out here i try to get home before it gets dark um because you know we're less visible out here and that's why you see i got this high vis vest and reflection reflective striping on here that helps me be seen at night but I, it ain't enough sometimes man it's you want to be fully visible out here i want to go up here and check these dudes out man <laughs> let me go over here look at this we got the dude on the gromsky the gromsky man <laughs> you gotta stay sharp out here man because these, you know, at the end of the day, like I said, you want to come home safe. You know what I'm saying? You don't want to end up in the hospital, you know what I'm saying? Or worse yet, six feet below. Got to stay sharp out here on the streets, guys. Defensive riding. But anyways, guys, I will tell you guys again, I'll reiterate, man. Airbag vest, guys, because if you do get nailed by a car and you get ejected from the bike this airbag vest is going to help keep you safe it's going to inflate and protect a <laughs> little Gronsky man that's funny but these airbag vests is going to help protect your vital organs your spine everything it's worth its weight in gold guys but anyways guys let's talk about it in the comment section um I love talking with you guys. I appreciate all you guys. Don't forget to subscribe to my All of a Motorcycle channel. And make sure to check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Deuces. Thumbs up. Check out my playlist for new riders and popular videos. Don't forget to comment and subscribe. And check out my other channel, Bug Out Moto. Where I customize a van for my motorcycle so I can live in my van with my motorcycle and travel across the country anywhere. Subscribe to my YouTube channel, Bug Out Moto.